Hello everyone, this will be the results video as you can probably tell, uh, collared shirt. So I'm doing this video right after work and there's a couple of kids at the house so we might hear some noise coming through the floor. Not a studio, just a unfinished little corner of our basement where I do all this hobby stuff. Yeah, they're really active up there. Uh, first thing, um, an apology, I had planned to record this video last night. Um, but uh, as you may know, I posted on the community page, uh, we had about a 48 hour storm where we got a pretty good dumping of snow. Uh, so the kids and I went outside yesterday afternoon, schools were closed and I was working remotely or working from home here. We went outside and did some shoveling and then we did our neighbors uh, driveways and sidewalks as well. So I uh, helped them out, kind of do a good deed there as well. And I tell you, by the end of the day, you know, cooking dinner and doing all the other things that you do in life. I, I was spent, so I didn't want to sit down and record a video and be like, oh, my back and legs are so tired, you know, didn't want to dump that on you, so I thought it would be better just to come back fresh, uh, new day. Uh, so to sum up, again, we've got uh, five quads that are in this giveaway. Uh, we've got about 2,400 participants. We'll take a look at that stuff here in just a minute when we get down to the desk. Um, I will pay for shipping up to $35. Generally, it covers everything that I've sent out in the last few years, the last... I don't know, half dozen, 10, 12 giveaways. Um, $35 generally covers it. Uh, some places, uh, stamps.com doesn't offer any shipping to, and I use stamps.com because that makes it a rel relatively simple process. It doesn't consume a lot of extra time. I know there are ways of shipping things to other countries where stamps.com doesn't show you shipping methods, but you know, I'm not gonna jump through a bunch of hoops and spend a lot more time and potentially money in order to ship something off for free to someone who may just be reselling it themselves or doing nothing with it. So uh, we're gonna stick with what's available on stamps.com. So if you happen to turn up in one of those places where I can't send something to you, um, I'll send you an email. Speaking of emails, uh, I normally try to time the people who get selected by the uh, random integer generator and their line within the spreadsheet, I usually try to time that to where that email arrives to you about when the video launches. I think in this case, I'm probably not going to get that done. So uh, instead of sending me a message, if you're a winner, just please be patient. I will try to get those messages sent out within, you know, say six to 10 hours of this video going live. So if you've won and you don't have an email yet, you should have one uh, within that six to 10 hour period. Uh, because I'm recording this now after work and then I'm going to be taking our oldest daughter to swim and then I'll come back later tonight and then I'll edit the video and get it ready to get uploaded and everything so it can launch in the morning. Uh, it's kind of the best timeline I can work out at this point because I was so tired last night. Um, if you're selected first, you get the first prize, which we'll go through real quick before we get to that. If you're selected second, you get the second prize. If you're selected third, you get the third prize. If you're selected last, you get the fifth prize. So one through five there. Uh, there's no asking me to disassemble it or anything like that because I just won't. I'm not going to, again, it's about time and it's if I disassemble it and ship it to you and then you say, how do I put it back together? And we've got more time. So you see how that kind of ball rolls downhill on us there. Uh, all right, let's get down to the desk and we'll take a look at a few things, uh, especially the survey stuff. And I, I do want to, uh, the 38... Uh, well, I shouldn't say necessarily 38. There appears to be 38 veterans who wanted to participate in the survey who didn't want to be in the prize giveaway. Uh, I appreciate you and thank you very much for being part of that. Uh, but when it comes to this election, I will go ahead and hide those results that way, or I'll filter by those results so you may not see your name. And I'll also reduce the number of available slots to be picked by the integer generator. So it's all square. Okay, so here is the uh, video. Let's go ahead and refresh this so we can look at current stance because I did pull this up probably 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, you can see there we got uh, 7.3 thousand views, uh, 245 comments. Um, and whoa, I didn't notice this previously, but we have a couple of comments right up top here that got a lot of thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Nick, you're one of the nicest guys I've ever watched and we're lucky to have you in this hobby. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you, Hollywood FPV, as well as everyone who thumbs up uh, that comment. I appreciate that. And yeah, I, I, I try to give these stuff back. They kind of are given to me and you know, I keep some of it around a little bit longer than others, but I try to get it back out into the wild and to, and to be used. And it keeps my wife from eyeballing the boxes and quads and going, why do you have everything over? You know, keeps that, keeps me good standing. Let's put it that way. Also, uh, Red Dog Drones 9043, been here long enough to know that Nick is overly generous to us. Thank you again, Nick, for yet another chance to win. Big with you, win big with you. Um, 
and then uh, 18 thumbs up. So uh, thank you, uh, Red Dog Drones, as well as everybody who thumbed up that comment. Very kind of all of you. Uh, so then let's go over to the giveaway form. I have to be careful because a section of this has the names that are the legal names and that I promised you I would not show in the video and I will continue to hold that true. So if we have an odd cut, that's probably where I made a mistake. Uh, so we had the 2,413 responses, which uh, does coincide to the uh, form that we have over here. I did stop the form submissions uh, yesterday uh, just to kind of get it within that same day period and let things settle out there. And I removed the form link. I was able to do that from the comforts of my bed uh, last night. Uh, but I wanted to look at this top little pie chart, which is fairly interesting. Uh, so we've got 98.4% are here to and wanted to be included. And then we have those 38 that I previously mentioned or the 1.6%. Uh, those are presumably people who feel they have enough and are just, you know, what does participate in the survey and I, I, I appreciate that. Let me scroll down here. Go down to the interesting stuff down here in the pie chart. Uh, do you have a monthly quad budget with our largest response being no, I buy whenever I can afford. Yeah, that that's kind of what I thought of when I was typing out the responses. Uh, again, to make it, you know, uh, uh, something that we can do a pie chart with that most people, it seems the most reasonable that, you know, if you crash, you don't immediately go by and put yourself into a, a bad financial position. Uh, you wait if you need to wait to buy what you need to uh, replace or repair or get into this hobby as you can. Uh, let's go on to our next largest is no. Sorry, that's flashing all over the screen at 15.7%. Yes, but not monthly. So some other interval. Uh, maybe every three months, maybe every other month, something like that. Um, and and yes, that they just have a monthly quad budget at 6.5%. And then 6.9% uh, are people that don't have quads yet. And maybe they're hoping that they'll be one of the lucky five. Uh, for those of you that don't have quads yet that are looking to participate, do know that I do these giveaway videos fairly regularly. It, it kind of, I try to, well, it, it comes to mind when things get a little bit slow, whether it's uh, any sort of projects I might be working on on the side, or if the, the manufacturers and sending in quads for review have just slowed down. That's generally when these things come about, but it could be, you know, every three months, every maybe six months, it, it, it really varies. I don't have a schedule uh, for these sort of things. This is not my job. I go to work every day too. Well, not every day, but you know, five days a week. Uh, and then we scroll down just a touch. Do you look to build or buy uh, buy and fly quads with our largest response build being I prefer to build but I do buy buying and flies and I hear that a lot uh, I've had those uh, sorts of conversations on the comment section with a lot of people that will uh, build a buy a quad a bind and fly because it's cheaper to buy that bind and fly and they might buy that bind and fly just for the components to put on a different frame because then they come out ahead or a wash and they have a spare frame or something along those natures. Um, other people prefer to build, but they base their builds on bind and flies because they can see how that performs and say, yeah, I like that, but I'm going to make a tweak. I'm going to go a little higher KV or a little different stator size, or I want to try out this particular flight stack or VTX, what have you. Uh, our next response is, uh, I prefer to buy bite and fly at 24.7%. At 11.5%, I build. And then uh, no quads yet at 8.3%. That's interesting because uh, the previous question, we had no quads yet at 6.9%. So there's uh, a little margin of error there, I think. Um, and then there's, I only build at 3.6%. So interesting stuff. Uh, and this was kind of a, a flyer question. I won't take you through all this stuff. What brought you to the videos on the channel or brings you back to view the videos? That was really selfishly for me. Um, some people, you know, a lot of people put reviews. That's common because that's mainly what this channel is, is reviews. I don't do a whole lot of tutorial stuff. I kind of do tutorial stuff in messages, whether it's comments, emails, Facebook messages, stuff, stuff like that. Um, let's go down even to the last. Are you subscribed to the channel? And I'm not certain what my thought was in the moment of typing that, but what is interesting, uh, not the yes, no, that's interesting is that I think this sort of thing, and I saw this in the comment section of the giveaway, original giveaway video was that this actually, some people will take a look at their subscription and will go, why am I not sub subscribed? I watch this uh, channel all the time. And so then I start to see those comments come in. So that's that might be a good thing for me to throw out on the end of these surveys, uh, just so that people are aware whether they're subscribed or not. If they want to be subscribed, that's uh, of course just their choice. Uh, but 94.8 are subscribed. 
and 5.2% are not subscribed. I suspect there's a fairly large margin of error according to the other analytics that YouTube gives us. About, I think it's about 40% of all viewers aren't subscribed. So, anywho, let's move over to the giveaway responses. I have already uh, hidden the fields that we don't want and sorted by do you want to be included in the giveaway. We have friendly names to be shown in the results video, which we are going to be doing here. And then we have, you know, our questions and then we have our longer form questions down over here. It even got a, an emoji out there. Um, so I, I have gone through a large portion of those, but I will continue to do that in my downtime. Uh, so let's scroll down. This will take me just, oh, I'll scroll up actually. We were at the bottom of the list. So we've got no, no, no. And then we get to the yeses at uh, 2376. So in the random integer generator, I put in 2375 because the top column is the column headers. Also, we need to go back. I need to click more here. These are the quads we're giving away. Remember, if you're picked first, you get the first quad. If you're picked second, you get the second quad. If you're picked third, you get the third quad. If you're picked fourth, you get the fourth quad. And if you're picked last, you get the fifth quad. We're only doing five this time. Uh, it helps me on the timeline of things. You'd be surprised how much time it takes to get organized on these things. I generally do 10, but I thought five was a little bit, was going to be easier for me to manage depending upon other things going on in life, whether it's real life with my family and work or if it's uh, YouTube stuff. Okay, so we're going to click this five times. We're going to generate one column and we're going to generate one integer. That integer relate to the spreadsheet. So let's get numbers. 1491, 14, 1491. I know there's a quicker way to this. I've never gotten real handy with it. I don't know that my scrolling finger is much better, but uh, so Aaron, Aaron, you are a winner number one and you will shortly have an email from me and me only. Don't respond to any of those faker scammer comments. Remember that happens on just about all these videos. I'm hoping YouTube does a better job, but there's someone that'll come along with an icon that looks just like the channel icon and some wonky name that maybe they even try to make it look like Nick Burns, but it might just have Telegram sort of stuff. They'll try to get you to reach out to them in the comment section. That's not how I'm going to contact you that you're the winner. It's the email address you used in the form. So Aaron, congratulations. You are the winner of, let's see, I'm not going to do this for each one, but let's see. The Axis Flying Z25. All right, let's pick again. 1768. 1768. I know some people love the scrolling so they can see their names too. 1768. Ollie FPV. Ollie, I'm very familiar, uh, has been coming to the channel for quite a while, I do believe. Uh, I do see a fair number of comments from Ollie. So congratulations, Ollie FPV. You're winner uh, number two. And so let's see, it's easy enough. Axis Flying C20 with Wax Nail for you. Back to random, and we'll draw again. 1665, where our numbers aren't getting spread out. 1665. Jonathan. Jonathan Correra, uh, you are winner number three. So congratulations. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll do it for all of them. I already started. You are the winner of the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Walk Snail Edition. Of course, if you've won something you can't use, you know, take the uh, VTX and camera that's out of there and put in something that you want. Or if you don't want to do that, you just sell it. Pay a bill. Buy some groceries. Do what you have with it. Once it's yours, it's free for you to use in any way, shape, or form you would like. Okay, 1665. We were on what, number three? Yeah, we we just did the beta. Jonathan won the beta, beta FPV Meteor 75. Okay, so we're picking number four. 1275. Boy, we're not getting our numbers are all in the thousands. Remember, these are not sorted by their time stamps. What was the number again? Geez, I've already forgotten. 1275. 1275, right here. Oh, I'm going to mess up this name. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Panaguada? Uh, mm, that's, a, that's a struggle for me. I apologize. I'm not doing a very good job on your name. Uh, but you have won, and again, within six to hopefully ten hours, you have an email, six to ten hours after this video is published, that is, have an email from me, and that's how you will reply to that email, and then we will sort out the shipping information that I'm going to need. Uh, if it's international, I will need a phone number, please. Okay, so, and you have won the HGLRC Baby Shark, that might be the Drash Shark. 
Um, if you want to look at it, go back to this video, please. I will link this down in the video description. Okay, uh, number five in your programs, but number one in your heart, possibly. Oh, there's a the lower number, 421. 421, 421, 421. Andre. And he likes to build. And he comes back for drone content. <laughs> Solid answers. <laughs> Andre, you have won the number five, which is the newbie drone Acro B BLV4, and that is analog. That concludes our drawing. Again, thank you everyone who comes to these. I know sometimes, I think sometimes videos that are giveaways uh, can have a negative connotation to them. And while that, that could be true in some capacities, it's just... For me, it is a, about getting these things back out to a community that, that comes to my channel and that enriches my life and enriches the, the YouTube channel thing as well. Uh, I think these things need to be moved on. You know, they're relatively expensive resources, some of these over the years, you know, $500 drones, and there's no reason for them to sit on a shelf. And I'm certainly, certainly not going to sell them to anyone because that... And I've said this in every one of these videos. I apologize for those that I'm bending your ear. Selling it just seems so icky to me. It seems wrong. You know, they were shipped to me, like 99.9% .9 of this stuff is shipped to me free of charge in order for me to review it and bring it to the YouTube channel. Now, not everything I'm sent do I get around to, but, and I do some builds. I haven't had a lot of time to do builds. I've actually, a side note, I've been, pushing a lot of companies to bring us something in the 2.5 inch arena uh, because that's an arena or a category of micros specifically that has been kind of ignored for the last couple of years. And I've had a number of people coming to me that they don't want a two inch, which is fun, but two inch is better if it's just analog. So as our prop size, excuse me, as our prop size increases, we can handle the additional weight of HD better. And that's probably the draw. But most of our 2.5 inches that came out say, like the, uh, beta, uh, not beta FPV, the happy model of, was it the Larva X that was 2.5 inches? I think so, because it had the Emacs props on it. You know, that that doesn't come in a digital format, because that was two plus years ago. Uh, so we need to revisit that, and I, I will talk to any company about what I think they should make, um, in the hopes that they will bring it to market, and then everyone who's, you know, looking for something in that arena has something to pick from. So hopefully... We'll see that pick back up. Now, I did the same thing on 2-inch several years ago. If you go back to my Rocket Race video and whenever that was published, it seems like it's closer to three years ago. Before we started to see, it took like over a year before we started to see those 2-inchers and 2S start to come. Actually, on the 2.5-inchers, I've been asking them to make them 4S, at the very least 3S. Yeah, you can do 2S, and it can still be fun. But I think when we've added that HD weight, specifically with that big O3, and it not being naked, it would be better served to be 4S. I think that would be more fun to fly, as well as it would probably be something that more people would be interested in. So I've I've been hitting that pavement and trying to tell all those companies to make this. Um, I you know I don't do an endorsed build or anything like that. I'm not in this hobby for money. I'm not trying to become a, a full time uh, YouTuber. I'm not trying to leave my day job. I have uh, my own uh, professional plans uh, of retiring here in the next few years. That kind of varies. Um, but even at that point, even if I were to retire from my day job, I wouldn't want this to be my full-time job because this is supposed to be fun. This is something that I enjoy doing and I want to continue to make sure that I enjoy doing it. So when I am tired, like last night, I'm not pushing myself to make a video because I depend upon any sort of return from YouTube in order to sustain me. I'm not against people who are doing that. That's just not what I want from me. Okay, so remember, I will have an email to our winners. And congratulations, all five of you. Uh, way to go. Uh, thank you for everyone who not only just watched the video, but if you submitted a survey, I appreciate uh, you taking the time. Uh, for those that didn't win, um, maybe next time, because it's the next time is only a few months away, generally speaking. Uh, Let's see, did I leave anything else out? I think everything should be covered. I don't script these things, obviously. I just kind of go off the cuff. But uh, yeah, it'll be an email. That's the way I'll contact you that you've won. So this video is one way you know you won. 
And well, unless you have the exact same name that you saw on the screen, that, that does happen from time to time that people have the exact same name and they think they're one or it'll show Steve M and they think it's them as well, but it's not the same last name when I go or same email address when I go back to the email address. So that's what we use as a, a row or column identifier on the spreadsheet. Uh, so you might have those questions. If you don't receive an email from me in the next six to 10 hours, then unfortunately you didn't win, but good luck to you next time. Uh, for those that do uh, receive an email from me, the email will tell you what to do next. Uh, it's just about the, uh, getting the packages ready to get shipped to you so I can figure out how much they cost. Okay, again, thank you everyone who watched the original video, everybody who watched this video. I, I appreciate everybody who comes back to the channel. I'm always surprised, here it is eight years later, that people still watch. And um, I'm, I'm happy for that and thankful for that. And I'm thankful that, that you all enjoy uh, the videos as well as I enjoy making the videos as well as the comment section and helping people uh, through various messages and the, the formats they come through. I, uh, This, this this finding this hobby has been good for me and hopefully it's good for you as well with that i will see you in the next video thanks for watching